What are you doing? Making a video. Hi guys, it's me, Katie, and today I'm going to do an updated makeup tutorial. So I've learned a lot of things and I got a lot of new products, and so now my makeup routine, I think, is a lot better. Sorry if you can hear the shower noises. Um, Brennan's taking a shower. So first step, dump out your makeup bag. So the first thing I do is set, like prime and set my whole face. So first off, I'm going to take this Avino Absolutely Ageless, Ageless Night Cream. And even though it's a night cream, I use it before I put anything else on my face because it just like I don't know, it's just really nice. And it actually helps like keeping my makeup stay all day, so. And then the second step is this NYX Pore Filler, which I just got. I mean, I guess it kind of covers my pores. It's more like a, like a, a BB cream, I guess. And then I take my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is like the first time I've gotten this huge one. Normally I just get like the sample ones. And I'm just going to apply this to my lids. And I just rub it in with my finger. <laughs> okay, so now that I've primed everything, I'm just going to really quickly set my um, eyelids with powder. Just so when I put on my eyeshadow, like it's not like, it's just easier to go on. And it doesn't... look ugly <laughs> so there's layout and now I'm going to do my eyeshadow so I actually have been using this icings palette which I got like when I was in like eighth grade and I just found it and I really liked the colors inside of it so it's called barely there I don't know you probably can't get this anymore I literally got it so long ago but like I really liked the colors and I wanted to try some new colors. So I'm going to be using this orange color for my lid and this uh, where the and this like reddish color for my crease. I really like how it looks. First, I am going to take my Mud palette, makeup designer, but I'm going to take this color that's like already used a lot and I'm going to put it under my brow bone. I like to do that first so like no makeup gets there. I don't know. I don't know if it works. But that's just what I do. Now it's time for the orange color that doesn't have a name. Now I'm going to take my blending brush from MAC, I think it's my 217 brush, it's super dirty, and I'm just going to take the red color that I talked about, and I'm going to put it in my crease. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> now I'm going to take this white MAC eyeliner in the shade Fascinating and I'm going to put it in my inner corner of my eye. Creepy. Now I'm going to take this black liquid eyeliner from Palladio and I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eyelid. The reason that I apply it just to the outer corner of my eye is because my eyelids are like weirdly shaped and it looks weird if I do the whole eye. In the end, it won't look super bad. <laughs> Okay, so now that my eyes are done, I'm going to start with my face, which is like a super quick and easy thing to do. So, I'm going to take my Fit Me Stick by Maybelline in the shade Buff 130, I believe. Yeah, 
Buff Beige 130. And this is actually a dupe for the Bobbi Brown stick that I've had before in the past, but this is just like a cheaper version of it. Honestly, it works the same. Like, I almost like this one better. So, all I do literally is just apply this to my face. And I do leave out like a little, like, thing right here just so I don't cake on under my eyes. Like, I'm going to put concealer there and it always looks so cakey when I do this and then concealer so if I feel like I want to do concealer then I leave a little like U or V shape right here without any foundation on it so I'm just gonna apply my foundation with my stick and I honestly don't have a technique for this I just like draw on my face <laughs> wherever I want uh -huh. And like obviously if you want a more full coverage and you just keep drawing but I don't honestly do that much. I don't do that much I don't know why I kept saying honestly sorry but anyways now I'm going to take my elf powder brush powder but it's honestly like a buffing brush and I just buff my foundation in that's my foundation Woo! doesn't really look much different but what they okay now I'm going to take my Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS in Vanilla 2 and I am going to apply that to my under eye and any red spots I have. And when I apply it to my under eye, like I said, I do the U or V and then I bring it up so I can like make my eyeshadow that like I went too far on like more pretty. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. There we go. And then any red spots. There we go. Now, I'm going to take my other e.l.f. brush, and this is a concealer brush, I think. <laughs> it just has like a flat head. And I need to clean my brushes so bad. Last time I cleaned them, this thing had so much stuff in it. It was so gross. But anyways. I'm just going to, I like push it, like dab it in, and after I do that, then I kind of like take the rest and just drag it down and up, but yeah, for the rest of the stuff I just dab it in. Because you don't really want it to spread around like you want it in that one spot, you know? You feel me? So do the same thing with this eyeball. Kind of messed up on the concealer over there. So the next step is this Revlon um, Photo Ready Concealer. But I don't use it as a concealer. I use it as like a bronzer. And I used to put it like on my cheeks too, but now I just do it for my nose. I just use it to contour my big old nose. I don't know if you could tell, but I just did a line under, a line on top, and two lines right there. Then I take my another e.l.f. brush, and this is my bronzing brush. I don't know the real term for it. And I just buff, blend, whatever you want to call it the brown into my nose and after I do this my nose is just a brown nose and it looks so weird with the rest of my body so what I do is I take my what's up what's up I don't even know what's up by benefit highlighting little stick and I highlight the tip of my nose and the long part of my nose and then I leave the little space where I put my bronzer and I rub it in with my finger and it doesn't look like I have a brown nose anymore I don't know maybe it does <laughs> maybe I should blend it more okay the next step is I take my elf brush again and I get this tart bronzing thing pack of princess I don't know if that's a color it looks like these and I just take my brush and go like this and then I go like this <laughs> and I kind of go like on my cheekbone and I don't pass this line or else it looks like super gross 
and then I take it up and then I do up here with the excess and up here with the excess and then I do that again and then on the other side I go like this like that and then I take the excess under here and up under here and then I just like finish blending it I look like weird in this <laughs> I don't look that weird I like it looks like super good quality in here I guess and it's like picking up on everything I promise it's not like that but anyways um yeah so I just do that and then sometimes like so rarely I would use the WhatsApp again and just put it like on right here and right here but I'm not going to today oh shoot I messed up oh gosh whenever I record myself I always mess up so before I put the bronzer on I was actually supposed to set my face with powder which I just started doing because I watched a a real beauty person and she told me to do that but I messed up so if you're watching this you're supposed to do this first. You're supposed to put your powder on first. And I'm just taking my powder and, I mean, my powder brush and my Sephora powder in the shade 21, petal or something. Yeah, petal. And it just looks like that. And I like lightly feather it. I don't know if it does anything, but I do lay it. And then I put some on my neck for fun. So yeah, now you're supposed to put the bronzer on. Sorry, I messed up. <laughs> um, what's the next step? Oh yeah, the next step is to curl my eyelashes, which I just started doing because I want my eyelashes to be like super long. Um, but yeah, I've had this since like eighth grade as well. Woo! Now I am going to apply two mascaras. Okay. So I'm going to take their Real by Benefit and apply them to the bottom and a little bit on the outer um, corner or the outer eyelashes. And then I'm going to take Perversion by Urban Decay and I'm going to apply them to the top lashes. It does make your eyelashes darker and like maybe longer. And that's one eyeball. Now let's do the other eyeball. Can you bring me a Q-tip, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and fix the mess. I mean, there you go. Now I'm going to take this little um, tester thing for mascara at the store and do my eyebrows like that and like that and that's all that I do to my eyebrows and now I'm going to take this other one and I'm going to fix my mascara so now that I am done with my makeup I'm going to take my Urban Decay shedding spray long lasting one yep makeup setting spray my long lasting setting spray and I'm just gonna spray my face. Close your ears, eyes, mouth, and nose before you do this. <gasps> now that that is done, the last step is to take any like lip gloss, chapstick, whatever you want, and put it on your lips. I use this Buxom lip plumping in the shade white Russian. And I like dab off the top. Dab. <laughs> Okay, and then just apply to your lips. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any requests or comments, concerns, whatever, leave it in down there. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.